Warning, you are not watching Siskel and Ebert. You are now entering Wink World. Send a topical back with another video. I am Strange Wink, and today I have a film review for the film Creed 3. But before we get to that, be sure to click all the social media links in the description box and be sure to click the thank button underneath this video because the money you see on the screen is fugazi, it's fake. If you click and donate to our thanks button, that will give us real cheese mozzarella provolone money, real money to help out this very YouTube channel that you're watching. And it is greatly appreciated. It's appreciated a lot. But let's get down to brass tacks. What you came to see, my review for Creed 3, which I gave a 9.4 out of 10 wings. Why? 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 Because Creed 3 is a very good film. However, it just didn't reach the height, the bar, the standard, I, the, my expectations. This is, didn't hit my expectations. And I love Rocky. Rocky and Creed are in my top five favorite movies of all time. Rocky is in the two spot. Creed's in the five spot. Those movies just mean so much to me. And the franchise, both franchises, the Rocky world, the Rocky Creed universe means so much to me uh, personally that I always have high expectations for these films. But I love this film nonetheless. It was very good. It set up a lot of things I wish we would have expanded more on. And that's my biggest gripe with Creed 3. I just wanted more. Please, sir. I want some more. Because this film is an hour and 40 minutes, but it feels like 30 minutes when you're inside the theater. And I could have definitely gone with 30 more minutes. Most movies are two hours long nowadays anyways. I don't know if they made this movie shorter to have more spots in the cinema to make more money. I don't know because we saw some things in the trailer of Creed that we didn't get in this movie like Adonis when he goes to jail and visiting the prisons to get in that mind step, mind, blah, 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 blah. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Mind state of Dame. I don't know if that's, hopefully we'll get extended cut when the blu-ray comes out so i'll definitely be buying that yay capitalism <laughs> i wanted more as i said and i wanted more animosity between creed and damien because i understood why damien's mad and upset i understood the sympathy of that character and i understood why he was angry and has beef with Adonis Creed. And I can understand why Adonis is mad at him. And why Donnie feels like he done him dirty. Because both people are right. These characters are complex. And that's what I love about these Rocky films and Creed films. These are real people. They feel like real people. And it re lets you relate to them so much. And that's why these films are so popular. Because you can gravitate and relate and hold on to these characters for so many films. And this film, it gave us that. But I felt like it could have done a little bit more. Because you tease this whole time that Damien wants to fuck Bianca. Bro! <laughs> Nothing really comes of that. But if you would have expanded on that, if that's where you wanted to go. That would make things more personal. But it would also kind of mess up the ending of the film. So I understand why they didn't go that way. But during the segment of ESPN where Adonis Creed is on the show with Stephen A. I like a finger in my booty hole Smith. And he's talking about Dame's been calling you a coward. He's been saying this, that, and the third on social media. He's been talking about you and your family. Well, it's one thing to hear it, but it's another thing for me to see Dame do it. And if you would have had some social media posts and tweets, uh, interview or whatever of Dame doing this, it would have made it more effective and I would have related more and been more behind Donnie to be like, damn, he's got to fuck him up. What he said crossed the line and I want the hero of this film to beat the villain's ass. That's what I want. But I didn't get that. I guess he was trying to toe the line of sympathetic and not because it made the end fight seem very interesting. But Creed is the 
protagonist of this film and that's what I came to see. That's what I bought a ticket for. So I wish we would have had more of that. That's fair. For the other relationships in the film, they're all great. You get a perfect amount of time with Adonis and his daughter. Husband and wife have a perfect amount of time to build that relationship. Obviously, Donnie and his mom, that has a good chunk of the film dedicated to it. Every scene with them, it really matters and means something. And this film, just like all the other Rocky Creed films, I got emotional. It gets emotional. It tugs on your heartstrings in this film. Did a great job doing that. What helped it a lot is the dialogue. This is my... Uh, this is one of the best <laughs> Creed Rocky scripts of all time. Just the dialogue in it was so authentic and real that it didn't feel like I was watching a movie. These actors, they did an extremely good job of portraying these characters and making the lines and the situation feel real. So to everyone that was in this film, congratulations. Especially Jonathan Majors. Because Jonathan Majors, the first time I saw him was a black man in San Francisco. And dude looked like this. Doing a interpretive dance, one man show in a house that he wasn't supposed to be in. And now he's looking like a second coming of Mike Tyson. Almost killing a dude inside of the ring. Crazy! Jonathan Majors can do it all. And it's very impressive every time I see him on screen. But that's something else I wanted more of. I wanted more screen time of him. Because you can pull it either way. You could have it be more sympathetic. Or you could have it go the other way where he's just destroying people. But if he would have had a fight in between that while Creed got ready. I think that would have been great to see of him just running through someone else. And then that's where you can put Donna's Creed. You ain't shit. Da 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 da. You're a coward. You're a coward. Like that's when you put that in there. And then I would have been more hype. Like Donnie, you got beat his ass, but also he's a fucking killer. And another thing that would have helped that would have been the music. I personally did not like the music in this movie at all. I thought it wasn't fitting of the characters. And when you have a film like this that feels so thin, it feels like real people. I think you should play on that. And make these characters music relate to them. Because in the entrance walkout themes. I think that would have been a perfect time to change those songs. Especially because one. <laughs> he went to uh, name Diamond Dave. He went to jail in 2002. So when he came out. Put some 2002 music in there. Put like a Wu-Tang protection neck. That would have been good. Or DMX. Or 50 Cent. Something that would have came out around that time that he would have been listening to. And when he got out of jail, he didn't have enough time to catch up. He was worried about kicking ass and getting back in shape to win in that world championship. And seeking a path to get to that world championship. That's actually a good point. So that would have been nice to see that. Because it would have made that character more relatable. And like, okay, dude's a fucking down, tough, dirty, gruffy, like, grimy cat. Or you could have used something from the day that would have made sense for his character as well. Like some, if I would have heard some Gazelta when he walking out, like some, bro, if I would have heard boo, 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 some West Side Gun as he was coming out, I would have been in the theater like, oh shit, Donnie might fucking die because that would have just fit the character so well. Or he had a ton of inspiration from Mike Tyson using old Mike Tyson theme or something like that. That would have been fitting in the character. Same thing with Adonis Creed. I didn't like his walkout music either. If you'd have put J. Cole's People Know in there, because that song talks about uh, competition in the game and how he's changed, which is Don Donnie's character arc in this movie of how he's changed and he's getting over the past and he's not who he used to be. And the competition being Jonathan Majors. That song would have fit perfect for his character. And I just came up with that on top of my dome. Nice. I just felt like the songs didn't fit the characters that well. And those little details snuck in the background. Would just make more of this movie. And make the characters seem more realistic. Added to the movie more. Same thing with the training 
montage song. I didn't care for that one either. So whoever did the music for this film. You blew it! When you have that workout scene, that's the scene in the Rocky franchise and a lot of franchises and a lot of movies. That's the scene that get the people going as Will Ferrell said in Blaze of Glory. That's the scene that you, that's when you lock in people and I didn't get fully locked in during that like I did past Creed films and past Rocky films. So I could have done without this music. Maybe that's just a nitpick to me. I enjoy rap music and these are mostly rap songs. So I don't know. I just know I didn't like it. Yes, that's, that's so right. But overall, I thought the quarterback of this film, the director in this film, Michael B. Jordan, not only did he act his ass off, he did an amazing job directing this film, putting the right pieces in place, putting the right scenes and editing and everything, checking over it like he's Santa Claus, checking it twice, making sure this film is amazing, and that's what we got. We got an amazing film. Did I have a few nitpicks? Yes, but majority of the time, you're always going to have a few nitpicks with the movie. I was just worried that this movie was going to be director-wise a mess because he's never directed a movie before. But he knows his character better than anyone else. And he did impress me a lot. When the next time he directs a film, I'll be sure to see it because he did a damn good job. Hopefully, it's another Creed film. I don't know where you go from here. But wherever Adonis Creed goes, I will be sure to follow same thing with Michael B. Jordan because he's a amazing talent in Hollywood right now. And because of him, I gave Creed 3 a 9.4 out of 10 wings. Let me know down in the comment section below your opinions, your thoughts, and opinions on Creed 3. Scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe.